be making basics. All right, so we got the right levels for the most part with the drums, right? At least initially. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and get the right proper levels with the um, other instruments, okay? Now the first things we're going to bring in is going to be the bass and the sub, so those low end sounds. Now, I want to bring, bring something in um, in here or talk about this real quick. When it comes to your low end sounds, you don't want them to be competing with the kick. You want them to sit well with the kick. So what I usually do is I bring those in low, low enough where you still hear the, the kick thumping through, but high enough where you can still hear them in the mix. So you see how that's kind of low, but you can still hear it. Now I'm gonna bring this sub in here. It's gonna give a little bit more, um, you know, body to this. And as you're bringing the sounds up, the things that you're paying, you want to pay attention to is making sure that you can still hear clearly all the drum sounds. You like, again, the drums are the main part when it comes to mixing hip hop or even R&B or whatever. The drums, I promise you, are the main aspect of it, because if the drums are getting faded away within the music, it's not your beats, not going to knock and it's going to sound whack. So that's why you want to make sure that those drums are most of the, are the things that you focus on the most. So we, I'm bringing this down some just to make sure that I can still hear the hi hat, hi hat, still hear the snare coming in pretty so strongly, still hear the kicks coming in strongly, and all these other instruments as well. So, all right, cool. So we got that. Let's start. Go ahead and start bringing in some of the, uh, these other instruments. Okay, and just to make sure here, what we could do is you listen to it. Um, you want to listen to it like from the beginning, just to make sure it kind of is all making sense.
All right. As you can hear, the beat is knocking. It's pretty dope. Um, and we pretty much have some pretty good levels, at least to start off with. Um, one thing I want you to keep in mind is that this is just an initial getting of the levels. Do you know what I'm saying? Because um, as you start doing other things like EQing, as you start doing other things like compression, as you start doing other things like adding reverb and other things of that nature, you're going to have to adjust the levels based on that as well. It is just kind of the nature of the game here. But one thing I want to go ahead and also point out here is if you look here, you're going to see that um, it's kind of going above that negative 6 dB. I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, loop right here over the hook or the chorus and um, I'm going to show you something. So it's going right here just a little bit above. What you could do, again, you remember our uh, buses. All right, so check this out. Now I could come over here and turn this down on the buses instead of having to come over here. Oops, one, two, three, four, five. You know, that's going to be tedious. It's going to mess up your, your levels. Comparably, if you just come over here now. Everything is kind of sitting right under that negative 6 dB. Again, that you do want a negative 6 dB to give some headroom because when we do the mastering or basically making the track louder at the end, you know what I'm saying, you need that negative 6 dB headroom. So to review here, um, when it comes to getting the right levels, you want to make sure that you're, you, you start with your drums first. Start with the kick and the snare. Make sure the kick and the snare are working well together, that that snare is snapping, but it's not too loud to where it's overwhelming, and that kick is thumping, um, meaning that you know you could really hear it, but it's not so so loud that it's overwhelming everything. Then you want to bring in the hi hats and or the percussion aspects of things. You want to hear those kind of loud in the mix, but not so loud where it's is this annoying. All right, bring in some other effects, you know the risers, some of the other cool effects you have in the background. Bring in that crash. Don't want that crash to be so low in the mix where you can barely hear it, but you want it to be pronounced, but not so loud. Bring in the bass or the sub instruments enough where you can hear them, but they're not like too much competing with the uh, kick and the snare and everything like that. Especially like if you have 808s, you want to have those 808s. It, it, it just takes a little bit to make that 808 drown out your whole mix. So you want to make sure that you don't pump those things too high. Same thing with uh, subs, basses, things of that nature. And then just keep on bringing in these other instruments uh, accordingly. All right. But you want your drums basically to sit above your mix um, over to all the rest of the uh, instruments. And if you, and you could use also these um, these uh, group tracks or, or auxiliary tracks to help you with that. All right. So thanks for watching. Um, in the next lectures to come, we're going to be continuing to uh, build upon this mix.